Hey guys, what's going on? It's Carl here, and today we're taking a look at the latest features of the brand new OS X Yosemite announced the other day at WWDC. This can all be found on the Apple site. I thought I would make a quick little video to go over the latest features. I'm also planning to make a video on iOS 8, the latest operating system for mobile devices, so stay posted to my channel. I'm hoping to get that out by tomorrow. But to OS X Yosemite, all of the names are now changing to places in California. It used to be the Big Cats, but last year we had Mavericks. Now it is called Yosemite after, of course, Yosemite National Park. I would say the biggest change coming to the operating system would be the overall design and changes in how it looks. Think of how iOS 6 drastically changed to iOS 7. It had completely redesigned icons and a more flatter and simplistic look. That same sort of feature is now coming to OS X Yosemite, where everything is being redesigned to give it a more elegant and simple look. For example, they're adding translucency, which adds more dimension to the desktop, and that will help people focus on the content that they're directly looking at. OS X Yosemite is really emphasizing efficiency and simplicity. So for example, they've redesigned the toolbar to cram more features into less space, so there's more room to look at your content. They spent a lot of time in the keynote talking about how simple and clean everything looked, and that goes all the way to the dock, one of the most iconic areas of a Mac. All of these icons have been completely redesigned to be cleaner and more elegant, and that gives a more consistent look and feel for all of the apps, and these are extremely similar to the redesign found on iOS 7, and I'll touch on more of that later in this video. They're also giving Yosemite a more elegant font, and that can be found in more places and is more consistent throughout the entire operating system. As you can see, there's a slight difference between the fonts. It's a bit more spaced out in Yosemite. It comes down to personal preference, but from what I've seen so far, it's a bit more simple and easier to read. And that entire new look and feel of Yosemite can also be seen through all of the apps that come on a Mac. For example, Safari, Calendar, Contacts, and in Finder will all have that new and simple look. Other than having a brand new redesign, Yosemite also has a few new features built in as well. For example, Notification Center finally, finally has widgets. Just a couple years late here, Apple. Just a couple. But for example, if you want to have weather, sports scores, things that you look on a day-to-day -day basis and want to have a quick glance at, you can always store this in your notifications on the right-hand side. Another feature that they're bringing in or highlighting more is Spotlight. And I feel that they're following in the footsteps of Google here again from Google Now. And the improved Spotlight will search your entire Mac, Bing, Maps, Movies, just to name a few. And I feel Apple is just slowly getting away from that Google search bar. The second thing they wanted to highlight was more powerful built-in apps, and I feel like I've mentioned this before, I won't go through every single one. For example, Safari has been completely redesigned from the top to bottom. As I mentioned, it has less of a toolbar, more content to look at. They had a couple graphs explaining how Safari is being completely redesigned to be quicker and more efficient when browsing the net. And as I mentioned, all of these changes can be found through all the applications that come natively with Mac OS X. And the final feature I'm going to touch on is how Mac OS X and iOS are now integrated more than ever before. Just like the complete redesign of Yosemite mimicked iOS 7. For example, you can now take calls on say your MacBook Pro or your iMac, say if your iPhone is charging in another room, or even if it's in your pocket and it rings, you can answer the call live from your computer. And you can talk natively through the speakers. And this just cuts down that extra step of having to go into your pocket, having to go into another room to retrieve your iPhone just to take a call. And this just doesn't apply to phone calls, it also extends to text messages and iMessage. So say for example you're at your computer, instead of taking that extra step to send a text message, you can just send that via your computer and it will send exactly the same as if you sent it on your phone. And another really useful feature that highlights this integration is handoff. So say for example you're typing up an email on your computer and you can't really finish it and you have to go to a meeting, you can finish off that email on your phone or even on your iPad. Everything is continuous and almost syncs together. I feel that iOS and OS X are going to merge in the future and just become one operating system. 
And that pretty much wraps up all the new highlights and features of the brand new OS X Yosemite. I found it funny that Apple bashed Android and Google for a lot of the presentation, but in turn are mimicking a lot of their great features, which is a step in the right direction in my opinion. Yosemite lands this fall and of course is a free download, so make sure you guys do check it out when it comes out. I hope you guys enjoyed this recap video. If you guys already haven't, please do hit that subscribe button and show some thumbs up love down below. Stay tuned for my iOS 8 recap. I'm hoping to get that out by tomorrow. And of course, I will catch you guys in my next video. Peace.